Hello everyone, this is Tar Danber reporting from a 5am club. I'd like to start season 10 with how to change your language tutorials. I already made one for Korean language, so go check it out if you want your league to be in Korean. Anyways, today we're going to be changing our language to Chinese. That's what you're here for and that's what you're gonna get. <coughs> Okay, so to explain briefly what we'll be doing, no worries my child, you won't be needing to install anything. You won't get banned for this, this is all pure and simple. So I'm going to be showing you how to change your language to Chinese. If you're interested in changing your language to Korean and Japanese from time to time, you know, check out my other tutorials and I'ma love you forever. Anyways, I'm also going to show you how to revert these changes, so fear not, let's get right into it. Alright, here we are, my glorious desktop. Um, first things first, I'm gonna open my League of Legends client, show you guys. How does it look like by default? Um, there it is. Nothing special, really. English client, I'm playing on EU West. These are the languages we have. Um, the season 10. So what we want to do right now is turn this into the Chinese client. Um, for a question that most of you have, uh, can you only have voices and not the text? Um, it is impossible. You have to have the entire client to Chinese. Um, that's the only way you can do it. Either you have like everything in Chinese or nothing, unfortunately. Um, so the way we're gonna turn our League of Legends into the Chinese League of Legends is um, by finding our League of Legends directory at first. Um, the way you're gonna do that is actually there are two ways. First way is... Uh, if you have a shortcut of League of Legends on your desktop or something, you want to right click on it, click on properties, open file location. Here it will take you to Riot Client. You want to click on Riot Games and then click on League of Legends right here. This is what we are looking for. We are looking for this League Client thingy. However, if you do not have League of Legends on your desktop for some reason, you have it in the taskbar or something, um, you want to open File Explorer. You want to go to my computer, local disk C, uh, Riot Games, and League of Legends. Do not worry about this Riot Client folder, it's a new thing uh, that comes with a new client. Um, I don't know anything about it, I haven't researched it. Only thing that matters is this League of Legends folder. Um, I apologize, my voice is a bit fucked up right now. Uh, it's because I just woke up. I mean, 5am squad, what's up? Next up, what we want to do is go to League of Legends folder. Um, League client. We're gonna right click on the League client. It's a uh, League client.exe. It's an application, as you guys can see. Uh, that kind of rhymes. <laughs> Create shortcut. And you want to put this shortcut wherever you want, so I'll just put it to the desktop. Um, we can close that right now. Uh, what you want to do is right click on Lee Client, uh, click on Properties. You're going to go to Target Box, go all the way to the right until the end. Make one space, two lines, locale uh, equals ZN, no actually ZHCN. I'm gonna copy this code in the description, so do not worry. I'm also gonna show you how to go back to English version, so do not worry. Click on OK. Uh, you wanna launch the client, and there we go. As you can see, E West Z H, and that means it is Chinese. Um, these are the Chinese letters. I'm just gonna log in real quick to show you guys inside of the launcher. Okay, so when the client starts up, this is usually the bug with the Chinese launcher. I don't know why, but it just won't display the main screen, like the home screen here. Don't know why, I have no clue. Um, anyways, everything else works, everything is in Chinese, the voices of the characters are in Chinese. Um, first things first, you're gonna have to update the game. I mean, you have no choice. The client needs to download the Chinese voices, announcer packs, whatever. You get the point. So we're just gonna wait for um, for the update to finish so I can show you guys that the play button is unlocked and that you can actually play the game. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that. And then afterwards, I'm gonna show you how to go back to English because right now, every shortcut of League of Legends that you enter will lead to the Chinese League of Legends. Okay, so the update is done. As you guys can see, the play button does work. Um, This is TFT, let me just close that. Uh, I'm gonna click on play again. There's every mode you can queue up for anything you want. Um, I'm just gonna queue up real quick and show you guys that it actually does work. 
Um, let me just uh, select the roles, queue up, there you go, everything works. Now I'm gonna show you how to change your language back to English. So the thing is, once you start the lead client, the target box uh, changes to, um, to see Riot Games Riot Client. So this all comes from Riot Client, which is the new folder they got. So what you need to do is make an entire new shortcut of Lee Client. Uh, that's just uh, the same directory, everything is the same. Riot Games League of Legends, uh, Lee Client, create shortcut. We're gonna put it on the desktop, um, just replace. Uh, right click properties I'm gonna put this in the middle real quick okay so now you're gonna do the same but for English locale ENGB um, there you go I typed in the English code instead of the Chinese one I'm gonna launch Lee client and now everything will go back to English there we go there it is U West EN it's back to English username password stay signed in everything is English again and there you go that's about it guys I just want to quickly apologize for the lack of editing and lack of effort put into the video I mean after all it's tutorial and it's done its purpose but I'm extremely tired and I've just made a deal with myself that I'm gonna upload a lot, so I'm gonna upload a lot. Uh, that's the reason why I haven't put like 1000 effort into this video because it's a tutorial and it just meant to show you how to do things, not to look fancy or anything. So that's about it guys, I hope you are having a great time, hope you're having a great weekend, uh, peace out.